We're here in Canary Wharf for the exclusive unveiling of the Nissan Leaf. Now this is going to be the first mass production electric car, says Nissan. The Leaf could be the most realistic option yet if you want to cut your motoring emissions to zero. It seats five adults within a five-door hatchback body. It's about the same size as a Ford Focus. Under the floor are 48 lithium-ion batteries, which power a 108 bhp electric motor. That allows the Leaf to sprint to 60 miles an hour in less than 10 seconds and on to a top speed of 90 miles an hour. Operating range is around 100 miles in town, but less if you're travelling at high speeds on the motorway. Nissan estimates the total CO2 emissions to be around 70 grams per kilometre. That's still significantly less than the 89 grams per kilometre Toyota Prius and low enough for free road tax. Fully charging a Leaf takes 8 hours and costs around £2, although you can also fast charge the batteries to 80% capacity in just 15 minutes. Inside, the Leaf's cabin is suitably high-tech. The inbuilt sat-nav system provides regularly updated details of charging stations that are within reach, so you should never be stranded with a flat battery. The production car will also feature regenerative braking. You can feel the extra weight of those heavy batteries in corners, but otherwise the Leaf feels very much like any other medium hatchback. The controls are light and the automatic gearbox makes it amazingly easy to drive. Above all, it doesn't feel like a compromise unlike many more primitive electric cars that we've driven. The Leaf goes on sale in Japan in December, but UK buyers will have to wait until early 2011. Hoping to do a full test drive of the Leaf soon, so keep an eye out on which the world will be going.